Hello, Internet! I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages Cursed. So, we beat Jabu Jabu's Belly, the most annoying dungeon in the game, last episode. And today, we're probably going to make it to all the way to the last dungeon of the game, because there's not a whole lot you have to do, to be perfectly honest. Oh, but first of all... We gotta go back to Horon Village. <laughs> this is not Oracle of Seasons, Artie. It's Lina City, not Horon Village. Horon Village is in Oracle of Seasons. Alright. First up, we need to buy our shield back, because the like like ate it last time. Hey there, I made dinner today for the first time in a while. Good for you, I guess. Let's appraise our rings. To come in, it's Vasu Jewelers. Only one? Like like green, become a like like. Aesthetic purposes only. You actually can't use any items if you are a like like. Ooh, but this reminds me. Now that we've got the long switch, we can get this rain. See you later, alligator. And it's been a while since we visited Bippin and Blossom and their kid. Rome, my son, heard of your deeds and is now trying to become a hero himself. I will continue my training. I'll teach you everything about trees. Oh uh, yeah, I've, I've heard this. Also, I believe there's another switch hook thing we can do on Crescent Island. If memory serves, there's that one. Oh, well, I'll have to come back to get that Gasha seed. It's in the cave around here, I believe. I do not know why I thought there was something down there for me to do. Oh, maybe it's in this cave. This seems right. Yeah! Never rain. Alright, enough of this dallying, though. Get us an ocean to explore. <laughs> well, we're going back to the present, I guess. South Lina, please. I love how fast we can swim in the water with the mermaid suit. It's so nice. Gaseous seed. Ooh, we get a rain. Hooray. Anyways, what we have to do now is visit the pirate ship that got, uh, stuck in that island, surrounded by vortexes. Because if you remember, there's the Zora who is like, Oh, I can't let a child pass through here! You need the Zora scale! I believe it's down here. There he is. The seas beyond here swallow up all who venture into them. The sea of storms. I can't allow a child like you to pass. The Zora scale? So you're Artie. You may pass. I know not what lies beyond, and I ask not why you must pass. Fare you well. 
Thank you, Zora. And here we are. Sea of Storms, surrounded by vortexes as far as the eye can see. Of course, there's not a whole lot to do in here, but there's a pirate ship. It's the same pirates from Oracle of Seasons! If ye go out to the ruins out east, ye can never return. Tales tell of giant ruins out in the east in the sea of no return. That's where we be bound. Captain isn't thinking about a thing. How long have we been adrift? Ahoy, it's been a long time. I didn't expect to meet you here. We've come all the way back from Alodrum, but we got stuck in the sea of storms and can't get out. Har, you've got the Zora Scale Sea Charm. Aye, that could calm this sea of storms. How about you give me that Zora Scale? Yeah, okay. Thank ye, you're a good man. Ahoy, mateys, see the spirit of the seafaring man. Aye, aye, sir. Thank ye, now we can escape these seas. Take this as a sign, oh me thanks. It's the jewel called the Toke Eyeball. It's said to be the thing that opens the way to the ancient tomb. I don't know if it's true or not, though. And we get the Toki Eyeball, a treasure of the deep. You've really helped us out. Hi, we found that Toki Eyeball on Crescent Island. Maybe you should head that way. We're off now. Ahoy, mateys. Aye, aye, sir. So, before we leave this place, if you do a linked playthrough only, this cave will be here. And we get a rain. That is a one-of-a-kind rain. You can only get if you link from Oracle of Seasons to Oracle of Ages. So use it well. Well, looks like we've got to get out of here somehow, so... Swim for shore. Alright, where to next? Crescent Island. Because now that we've got the Toki Eyeball, we can do something very interesting. Alright, so right here we're going to play Psalm of Ages. So you can see that the entrance to the Moonlit Grotto, the guy has two eyes and an open mouth. Well, if we go back to the past, mouth is closed, and he only has one eyeball. Kind of interesting. Also, guess you see down here, we get a rain. Well, if we put the eyeball in here... Bada beam bada boom, a way has opened. Show your courage, wisdom, and power. The road to the past shall then open. This is the way to the final dungeon of the game. And this is an annoying little mini-dungeon here. It's full of tough enemies. Gibdos, when you have to fight them in swarms, are actually a bit more intimidating. Apparently, if they're taking damage from your sword, the boomerang doesn't stun them. Thank you for that. <laughs> so that's where we're showing our power. Open the way. Eyes here, the courage, maybe? Oh boy, these guys again. Get out the Gale Seeds! Oh -ho. This is where it gets nasty. It's one of these annoying King of Samaria block puzzles. And the keys do not help things. Yeah. 
Yeah, this room is just super annoying. where we're going to cheat the system a little bit. Pegasus Seeds away! Yeah, I do not like that puzzle at all. Alright, here we go. We are now inside this island that's been completely surrounded by whirlpools. Push this armor statue so they're all together, and... This music is amazing. Welcome to the Sea of No Return. Yikes! Forgot about these guys, Dark Nuts. Those are Wolfoses, and they are nasty. Do the same thing you did with Gibdos, stun them with the Boomerang. Dark Nuts are not stunned by the Boomerang, so that's irritating. This is- oh, ouch! One hit KO. This is where the enemies are just really powerful. In case you're wondering, this is exactly where Yol Graveyard is in the present, but if you try warping using the Song of Ages to warp from Yol Graveyard here, it'll actually glitch out, like, intentionally. The game will not let you pass there because they want to force you to go this way. Back, Wolfos. Ow! Whoa, the Wolfos can shoot through walls? That just makes them even more dangerous. There we go. Hehehe. Do 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 do. This does play an Oracle of Seasons, but only once, and it's when the pirate ship is moving. Do 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 do. Take that. Oh boy. Oh my. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. Kill the blue wolfos. The blue wolfos first. Take on the dark nut later. Whew. If you're not doing a curse playthrough, you don't have to be this careful, but. It sure does help. Alright, and on that, that note, we've made it to level 8, the Ancient Tomb. And we're actually going to play through a little bit of it, because it's still early in the episode. This is basically the Spirit's Grave, which was the first dungeon on steroids. It's great. Much, much better than Jabu Jabu's Belly. So we got these Poes to deal with at the beginning, they're not too bad. We've seen them in level 1, so...
Let's feed the owl. Open your ears to the sound of a sword against the wall. This is one of the more evil puzzles, but... It's behind this statue. <laughs> and that's a wall master. No. Floor masters! They are not wall masters. This is really one of the more memorable final dungeons of any Zelda game. Small key! Especially for the 2D Zeldas. So the first four is very, very small. It's only four rooms. But they just pack a lot into this dungeon. I really like that effect, it's very nice. And also this is one of the few dungeons that where they actually use the turntables in a cool way. It really amps up the difficulty. But I still think it's less difficult than Jabba Jabba's belly. So that's the way of the pose, they're gonna try to surround me. Well, that is very rude. the block, we can go down here, and get ourselves a map. So this is the third floor, or a rather basement 2. It's huge. Probably the biggest floor out of any of the Oracle Games dungeons. And we get a small key through there. This kind of like... What's cool about this dungeon is it kind of like takes aspects from all the other dungeons. Like it takes the base of the Spirit's Grave, and it's got the turntables, like the Moonlit Grotto. You go over the different parts of the dungeon like you did in the Skull Dungeon, which is really cool. Uh, you've got the blocks like in the Crown Dungeon. It's just really, really well put together. And I do not know where I am going. That's right, we go back here and use the key on the key block. Do 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 But really, just one of the coolest things about this dungeon is the music. It's so ominous. This is really just what a last dungeon in a Zelda game should be. Back. Hang on, I want to try something. Actually, I'll try it later, I think. Nothing. I love you, Pegasus Seeds. It's another dun this is also a dungeon where you like use pretty much every item you've gotten in previous dungeons. And there's a lot of fairies, which is very nice. Thank you for that. Alright, what I'm going to try... Pegasus Seeds? Ricoch... Nope. Ricochet Shot's not gonna work. Alright. The first part of this dungeon, like the second floor, does have quite a bit of backtracking to it, which is not very nice. 
but it could be worse. We get the compass for there. And you don't even reach the main gimmick of the dungeon until... a little more than halfway through it, I'd say. And now that we've changed the blocks, we can go back this way. And we can explore more of the dungeon. Starting this way. Oh wow, it's a Stalfos carrying a key. That's not very often that you see that. You see it fairly frequently in Zelda 1, but not really in the Oracle games. And now we can manipulate the turntable a bit better. Beat it, booze. Also, both the boss and mini-boss of this dungeon are pretty cool. Get back here! Doom-doom! Doom-doom-doom! See, this is actually, like, kind of clever use of the turntables, which I appreciate. Despite the fact that I'm on my last legs. Oh, oh no, oh no, Beemos. It's the room of nightmares. Ooh, you're not getting me today, Beemos. And these puzzles are back, complete with mold worms. You know what, I'm just going to try getting rid of the mold arms first, so I can take my time with the puzzle after killing them. Oh, no! Nah! Darn it. Well, I think that's all the time we have for this episode. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you next time. Have a great day, and God bless.